Hi, meet Chris Dykes. He's superintendent of McCleary Excavating out of the Bluegrass, Quad Iowa. Bluegrass, Iowa. Yeah, um, Chris, you're uh, competing here in the Global Operator Challenge. What's it like compared to everyday work? Way different. <laughs> <laughs> Controlled environment. It's dry in here. It's it's a lot different than outside. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nicer than being out in the cold and wet today. Huh? Very much. What kinds of things uh, did you see in the, the skill tests that you were doing here that, that you felt, felt like your work really sort of prepared you to be able to do? We move dirt on a regular basis. We load trucks like the haul truck operation they got going. Um, the dozer, we grade the slopes just as they did in the challenge out here. Similar items, there's a few different. What about the finesse work? I noticed there, there, there's a lot of a lot of running through little lot, sort of obstacle kind of there thing. There is. With excavators and everything, do you get any of that kind of work at all? We do that, and we do it on a regular basis. Okay. That happens daily. The difference is uh, usually it's with people, which oh. is even a little more finesse. Sure, sure. Um, people or materials. Uh, out here, it's just a tennis ball. <laughs> you know, we're okay if we run into it, but... Right. That's the whole idea behind it. How do you feel about about having to do this, do things with the idea of speed behind it? People rush out here more than they rush at work. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. I'll They're bet. not as fast at work. Yeah, yeah. They'll slow down, take their time. Doing that, did you get a sense for you know how well you can do something at speed? Yeah, you actually push yourself a little more out here than we would in the field, which is good. It's a controlled environment, so it's safe to do it, and it's definitely a faster pace than what we do at work. And this isn't the first time you've done this, right? Uh, we were here back in uh, two years ago uh, for the 20 challenge. Uh, it was set up a lot different than it is today. Uh, a lot of the same machines, but uh, different obstacles, different challenges, and uh, today's a lot more difficult than it was two years ago. What were kind of the kind of key differences that you remember from those two events? A lot of today's challenges involve the technology that's built into the machine. They're testing us or having us challenged on what the machine can do with the technology inside of it. Yeah. The payloads, the pay scales, um, certain, certain features that we don't use every day in the field. What was that like to get to get used to using? You don't get decks? used to it. That's where guys slip or don't do as good as they would in the field. A lot of these guys are great operators, and they do way better outside if they just had 15 minutes to play with this. Yeah. There's no warm up to this. You get in it and go. There are six challenges set up here, and you pick mm -hmm. four. Is that right? Uh, you do four. Everybody does the same. Oh, okay, the same four. Yeah, and inside two of the challenges, there's actually two different smaller challenges. So oh, okay. Um, you get to you get to do a lot of stuff you wouldn't normally do in a day. Which of the machines out here are the ones are the ones that that you have the least experience with? The wheelless uh, payloader, mm -hmm. um, no steering wheel in that thing. Oh. Imagine driving a car without a steering wheel. Mm -hmm. It's different. Joystick steering. Yep. Right. So not what you're used to. Yeah. Not what you're used um, to. These are new 2022 machines or 21 machines and. Uh, the guys in the field may not have that. You know, yeah. we still operating on older stuff a lot. Did you have uh, goals or objectives for the second time through? Just the... come back to the Edwards facility and have fun. Yeah. These guys are great down here. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's nice to be in this environment. Being in the Midwest here and being yeah. able to get to uh, into Edwards and, and operate here, really a, a nice yeah. lot location. What would you think that it would take to go all the way to the, the finals in, in Las Vegas? Steady. There's a few operators in here that have got low scores, and there's a few that have had steady scores all the way through, and more than likely the steady guys will be the ones that advance or do better. Yeah, yeah. They, they know what they're doing, and they're good on the machines and not just getting lucky. Well, this is kind of early in the season for uh, operator challenge stuff. Do you, what kind of advice would you offer to folks that are coming up on on Operator Challenge Day? A lot of the facilities, uh, I believe they do here, and a lot of the Caterpillar facilities uh, will let you demonstrate the machines or come down and try them out. They've invited us to their sites and uh, offered that up to us. Um, this was a short notice one, it didn't happen, but get familiar with the machines. And I would assume the technology on the machines, right? Correct. Uh, you know, that's the, if, you, if you're used to operating a wheel loader, that part of it you got, unless it doesn't have a joystick. Unless it don't have a wheel, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Knowing how to use the, the, the technology so that you, none of that stuff's for tripping you up. There's a lot of buttons in the machines. We didn't use half of them today. Yeah. And they're capable of more than what we actually did in this facility today. Mm -hmm. So uh, you got to know where they're at. Um, you got to know what they do. Yeah. And uh, some of them are tricky. 
are there technology uh, choices like that on machines in your company? Yes. Okay. Yep. And are you going to carry things that you saw or learned today back home and say, I'm going to try and use that, integrate that more with my work? I've been down here a few times and actually taken the technologies that they have in these machines and used it in the field in the past. And we do quite a bit. It's hard to know it all. It's hard to teach it all. And you go through operators uh, sometimes daily. You'll have a different operator in it. So you're training that and teaching it quite a bit. And to keep them on it is tough. Do you get much stick time? I, you know, you're a superintendent, I would assume. You know, I haven't tough. been in a machine since I was here two years ago. Oh, for really? For more than a few hours. Well, your role is more of that teaching role yes. with the guys in the field. Correct. I see, I see. Yeah. And, but with the turnover, then you've got that challenge of, yeah. you know, how much time do I spend with this guy? I wish you the best luck. It's been Thank a you. really pleasure to meet you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Awesome can be contained. I got